students, today we're going over Unit 4, model, Module 2, Session 1, Multiplication Strategies. Number 1 says the top box shows the product of the two middle numbers, and the bottom box shows the sum of the two middle numbers. Fill in the missing numbers. So for A, we see that 16 times 1 fourth is 4. Therefore, what is the bottom number? 16 plus 1 fourth. So I know 16 plus 1 fourth is 16 and 1 fourth, which is the same as 16 and 25 hundredths. Looking at B, we see 25 hundredths times what equals 7. So how many quarters does it take? Because I know 25 hundredths is the same as a quarter. How many quarters does it take to make $7? Hmm. Well, I know 4 quarters equals $1. And so I want seven dollars, so seven times four is twenty-eight. That's right. Now I'm going to add twenty-eight and twenty-five hundredths, which I get twenty-eight and twenty-five hundredths. <clears throat> Sorry, that whole number goes into the white area. C, I see that seventy-five hundredths multiplied by something equals six. And then seventy-five hundredths plus that same number comes down here in the white. So I'm thinking three-fourths of a number is six. Hmm. Three-quarters. How many sets of three-quarters would it take to equal six whole dollars? So the correct answer here would be eight. Eight sets of three-quarters would equal six dollars. Or I also know that six is three quarters of eight. And so eight plus 75 hundredths equals eight and 75 hundredths. Looking at D, we have 75 hundredths times what equals two and 25 hundredths. So again, how many sets of three quarters would it take to equal two and 25 quarters? So one thing you can think of is you can say, hmm, well, three quarters equals 75 cents. If I double that, I have a dollar fifty. And if I add another set, I have two dollars and twenty-five cents. So how many sets of three quarters did I use? Three sets. Therefore, three times seventy-five hundredths equals two and twenty-five hundredths. Three plus seventy-five hundredths equals three and seventy-five hundredths. Looking down now at number two, one-fifth of forty. So again, when, I'm, when I see that one-fifth of forty in my head, I'm thinking forty divided by five. Forty divided by five, boys and girls, is what? That's right, eight. Eight is our answer. Looking at B, one-third of 21, what am I thinking in my head? That's right, 21 divided by 3, which equals 7 is our answer. C, three-fifths of 40. So what I'm thinking is 40 divided by 5, which I already did up top on A, equals 8. Three groups of that, 8 times 3 is 24. D, two-thirds of 21. Well, I'm thinking 21 divided by 3, which I already did, which is 7. Now I'm taking two of those groups, so my answer is 14. Looking at E, one-sixth of 24. I'm thinking 24 divided by 6, which is 4. 6 times 4 is 24. So one-sixth of 24 is 4. One twelfth of 36. I'm thinking 36 divided by 12, which is 3. G, 4 6 of 24. I already solved 24 divided by 6, which equals 4. Now I'm thinking 4 of those groups instead of 1. So 4 times 4 is 16. Looking at H, 4 twelfths of 36. I already know that 1 twelfths is 3. So 4 twelfths is 4 of those groups. 4 times 3 is 12. 
Number three says Matthew bought 16 gallons of gas for $4.25 per gallon. How much did he spend? Show your work. So what I'm solving is 16 times $4.25. So again, 16 times $4.25. I can use a ratio table here. I know one gallon costs $4.25. I can double that times two, multiply two on top, multiply two on bottom to come up with 850. And I can again double times two to come up with four and $17 trying to get up to 16 so I can double again times 2 which is 8 double 17 is 34 and then I double again to get to 16 times 2 and times 2 down here 34 doubled is $68. So how much is the cost for 16 gallons? $68 is our answer. Number four says Tracy bought a dozen of her mother's favorite flowers for $9. How much did each flower cost? Show your thinking. So I know she bought a dozen of her mother's favorite flowers for $9. So 12 cost nine dollars because I know in a dozen there's twelve. How much did each flower cost? So here I'm going to show I know the number of flowers twelve flowers for nine dollars. So now I want to find the total cost for one. So similar to the previous one except we're working backwards. So I know I can half this so what would be the cost of 6? So when we're taking half, really we are dividing by 2. 9 divided by 2, what's half of 9? It would be 450. Now we can half it again to get 3. So I know that 3, taking half of $4.50, would be 225. And now I want to still find the cost of one of them. So we can divide both numbers by three. That would get me the cost of one. So I need to think of what's one third of 225. How many can think about that is quarters. How many quarters are in $2.25? Well, I know in two quarters, or excuse me, in $2, there's eight quarters and I have 25 cents more. So um, now I have a total of nine quarters. Oh, I know I can take nine divided by three. That's three. So if I split these quarters into groups of three, I see that three quarters is 75 cents. So $2.25 split into three groups would be 75 cents each. Did I solve the problem of how much did each flower cost? Yes, each flower cost 75 cents. Number five, Gavin also bought a dozen flowers for his mother, but her favorite flowers cost 35 cents each. How much did Gavin spend? Show your thinking. So we know Gavin also bought a dozen flowers. How many is a dozen? 12 and they cost 35 cents each. How much did Gavin spend? So do we know the total that Gavin spent? No, but we want, do we, do we know how much each one cost? Yes, how much did each one cost? 35 cents, and now we want to know the cost of 12. So I can say double two is 70 cents, because 35 doubled is 70. Next, I can find 10 groups, the cost of 10 flowers, by going from 1 to 10, which is multiplied by 10, going from 35 cents times 10, which would be $3.50.
Now can I find the cost of 12? Yes, I'm going to think 2 plus 10 is 12. So I'm going to add the cost of 2 of them plus the cost of 10 of them. So I'm thinking $3.50 plus 70 cents. So again, what am I thinking? I'm thinking $3.50 plus 70 cents equals $4 and 20 cents. So there's the answer. 12 cost $4 and 20 cents. Let's look at number six. Xavier earns $12.50 for each lawn he mows. If he mowed eight lawns last week, how much money did he earn? Show your work. So $12.50 for each lawn. He mowed eight lawns. How much money did he earn in total? So again, we have one cost $12.50. I want to find the cost of eight. Double that would be $25. Double that would be $50. Double that again would be $100. Wow, he mowed eight lawns for, and he earned $100. Not bad. Challenge problem. Randy and her sister made balloon animals and sold them for 50 cents each at a school carnival. They made $48. If Randy made twice as many balloon animals as her sister, how many balloon animals did each girl make? So let's look back at the problem. Randy and her sister, they made balloon animals and sold them for 50 cents each. They made $48 total. If Randy made twice as many balloon animals as her sister, how many balloon animals did each girl make? So really I need to find one third of 48. So I needed to find one third of 48. Because I have what Randy made, which is double what the sister made. So if X represents what the sister made, Randy made double. And so I'm gonna find three groups of the $48 to represent what each of this amount is. So one third of 48, I think 48 divided by three. 48 divided by three is, is 16. But is that telling me how many balloon animals they made? No, that's telling me how much money they made. So I took $48. So each, so let's see. So the sister, brought in $16 worth of, or excuse me, yeah, worth of balloon animals. And Randy did double that, which is $32. But how many balloon animals did, did the sister have to make to, to earn $16 if they cost 50 cents each? That's right. The sister had to make a total of 32 animals. We'll say 32 animals made. And the brother, Randy, is that a boy's name? I don't know. Randy made 64 balloon animals. 64 animals made. And that's all for today.